what's going on guys um so ended up picking up the legacy last night didn't have the gopro with me to film like my initial kind of thoughts about the clutch and stuff but the south bend stage three endurance is in um honestly first impressions just from pushing in the clutch actually feels a lot lighter than stock um from pushing from its normal resting position all the way to the floor um that's it was a lot different than what i was expecting what my mechanic was expecting uh, i had ray and tommy and Doris do it at parkside motors in meriden i'll have their info in the description below um but it was honestly, it's really not bad at all uh, this clutch is supposed to be rated for 450 torque to the wheels. Um, that's something that I kind of need. I'm sitting around 410 right now. Um, and I have the stock clutch in my trunk. We can take a look at that after. But I'm actually sitting at the Konpiak parking lot right now. If you want to see. Anthony Stang, Shane's WRX Bug, Volkswagen, Porsche. I don't know. It's usually a bunch of cool cars here, but they're part of the car club for the most part. Anywho. So, just kind of waiting before class, but I thought you guys, I'd just give you guys like a quick initial thought. Honestly, my quick initial thought is it's it's great. Um, it's rideable. That was one of my main concerns. I thought it was going to be really on and off, but um, it's, it's really not that bad. I had to, I was in stop and go traffic coming back after picking it up didn't worry about it at all uh, I had a couple of pretty solid hills that I had to go up and I had no problems with hill starts or anything it's literally just like stock except it feels a lot better um, I got ended up going with a steel flywheel um, could I have reused my stock one probably it still had a lot of life left um, I'm sitting at 69,000 miles right now and I'm planning to do a thousand mile break-in with this clutch so at around 70,000 miles then um, it'll be good for boosting my plan is once it gets to around 500 maybe i'll just give it a little bit of boost maybe like five pounds something like that just kind of introduce it slowly um but for the most part it's december it's getting kind of crappy out um i do have summer performance tires on and these things are slicks when it's cold out just to put it simply um so yeah we'll take a look at the clutch later uh, maybe tonight or something if I can um, but right after this class I got to go back into work so yeah that's just my quick initial thing I'll see if I can set up the GoPro and just get like little driving clips of it but um, just for an initial review love it so far I have like 25 miles on it though so take it for what it's worth uh, I'll update you, update you guys as I go on and uh, yeah that's about it for right now I'll see if we get some stuff later um, if I don't end up getting any stuff later, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate the support and more videos to come. I'm still going to be reviewing the Braum racing seats. Um, I've had a bunch of questions about those and how I like them, so I'll be doing a review on that. And uh, a bunch of other little stuff. Um, picking something else up that should be here next week, which I'll let you guys know when that comes in. And then uh, still have some other plans for the winter. So keep you guys updated. Stay tuned. Subscribe like comment uh, make sure to follow us on instagram or ask us any questions you guys have we're happy to answer it have a good day guys All right, what's going on guys uh this is the follow-up part to my like initial kind of um review of the clutch and my initial thoughts and that kind of stuff about it i didn't end up getting any driving footage yet i can get that later but every time i go to hook up the suction mount and everything um it ends up being too dark you won't be able to see me so figured um probably next weekend I can get some driving clips of it and I don't know if that guy if that'll help you out with uh, making a decision if you're looking for a clutch uh, in the future something that's gonna hold a decent amount of torque um, but so far now I have about like 150 miles or something on it and it's it's literally great you can drive it just like a normal clutch um, and a lot of people are asking me to see my stock clutch so I save that I'll take a quick look in here um, so here's a stock clutch Here's the throwout bearing. Um, one of the main differences between this and the STI ones is your clutch fork sits in here and it'll pivot with your master. It pushes against it. Um, STIs aren't like that, so that's why you cannot use the STI one. Some other differences, uh, look at the pressure plate here. 
these fingers for the STI ones are actually like flush down. They don't come up anymore. Um, like this one does. And uh, here's the actual clutch disc. Put that up. And we'll take a quick look at the flywheel. So the clutch disc sits nicely within the flywheel here, as you can see. And yes, I could have resurfaced it. This just has plenty of life left on it. Um, but I just want to get all new hardware. And the STI uh, clutch disc, if you were to order that and try to fit it on your um, 2010 GT stock flywheel, it won't fit. The clutch is actually, the disc is actually bigger. And the pressure plate will not bolt up no matter what way you turn it. So... Just a little side note, um, it's kind of hard to pick up. I don't know exactly what these little groove things are called, but it's not completely shot. <laughs> um, I was I was really interested in looking at any burn marks or anything, and I mean there's a couple, there's maybe a little dark mark there, a little dark mark there, but um, all in all it's still in a lot better shape than I thought it was, but it's definitely getting there. Um, there's There's not too much of these group you can see them but there's not too much left um but yeah i don't know just a quick look at stock one hope you guys uh for whoever wanted to see that you guys can see that um that's about it i'll have a driving review like i said for the clutch uh later on probably next week finishing up finals right now on the home stretch so after this week um be good to go and uh have some cool videos coming up and plus I have some parts coming in and I'll probably have another video up on the channel in a couple days, something like that. So thank you guys again. Uh, have a good day and see you soon.